shit. Shit. We're Kristen and Michael. We bought our house in the Joshua Tree area in 2021 and renovated it ourselves and turned it into a short-term rental. And because we put all of our money into renovations, we couldn't add special amenities to it. So over the last couple years, we've slowly been building it up and creating a unique space for all of our guests. I think this is gonna work. So I got the light in, I got the form down in there. I'm now going to screw the moon onto the form and then bury it back up. I think this should be good. All right, so here's where we're at. We got a screw in and then I split the board I split the board, <laughs> so I put wood glue on it, and now it looks like that, but it's actually pretty secure. I'm gonna let this dry, and then work on the other one, and then we will fill in the entire dirt mound around it, and get this one secured into place. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do while this glue dries, and I'm smarter about my decisions to do pilot holes, I should have known that. I knew I knew I should have done pilot holes in these small little boards, but the board split, I just glued all new ones. <clears throat> so these need to dry for like eight hours or so, which is one right now, maybe I can do it tonight, or very first thing in the morning. I was hoping to film some content out there tonight, but, um, alas, here we are. The other thing that we noticed is that you can see the wood poles sticking up out of the ground in the bushes. Pop a footage of that right here. Um, so our solution is to paint them a color that's dark, that blends in. So I got like a dark called Dark Everglade. So it's like a really dark green. And I'm going to paint all those poles that color. So hopefully like Disneyland doors, they'll just kind of disappear. Let's see, it's very windy. So I'm gonna try and do this right now. See if that did the trick. It kind of did. You can still see the base, but you can't see the pole as much.
Update on Finn. He's bending into the sun. Just really trying to get any kind of sun he can get. Huh. Oh, yeah. Wow, you are cute. Yeah, I think I'm biased. <gasps> You're cute. <laughs> This is the perfect time of day to see the windows and how badly they have been rain. That one right on my foot. Badly they've been hit by the rain. So let me show you. I'm gonna get my Swiffer out and my little microfiber cloth and we're gonna go at these guys with some water and vinegar. Look at that. It's not supposed to rain. It might rain tonight. It said there's like a 30% chance that that over there might be rain. At least it'll just be one layer coming on rather than like seven rainstorms like these ones have probably been through. So we're gonna just do that, we as and me. Finn's just gonna hang out right here and be cute. Hi, Finn. Hi. So I'll just show you what I'm gonna do right now. Inside, and then we'll go outside because it's super cold. Better or worse? Ooh, I don't know. Okay, it is very cold outside and the wind decided to start acting up, so I had to put on another layer and I gotta get back to work. One thing that I need to do is clean out our vacuum because that is something that we don't do enough of. You gotta clean your vacuum out because it gets dirty. We're gonna do that. I just finished painting all of the things green and it looks like it's working. I'll take you out there and I'll show you. I'll have to film it on my iPhone because you'll see it better. I need to do a bunch more things before the sun goes down. So it's time, time to get back to work. Yeah, let's clean this vacuum out. Kristen, will you wash this? And we'll just let it dry overnight. Where, like in the sink? Yeah, you can wash it out. Okay. It says on here. Okay, cool. So I just washed this thing out. Nice. And then this filter is disgusting. See that. Luckily, it's washable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you need to do soap with it or no? I don't think so. It Whoa. looks like a hot chocolate. Yeah, that's crazy. It's got worse. I mean, one vacuum and it's going to be dusty again. But yeah. At least the. Yeah. This is something. Yeah. Okay, so we'll let these dry. Preferably the night. <laughs> You're bringing your dirty ass in here. <laughs> Fine. Mm -hmm. So my next task today is to is clean this up. I'm gonna put some finishing board on this to try and uh, make it look a little nicer and finished. I'm gonna do one on the top and do one on the front right here. Okay, this should fit on top now. Let's go try it.
do it? Oh, I did it. about how clever Michael is like I just picked this up off the ground I don't know if he addressed it but like are you kidding me oh, it's cold it's so cold what's that it's like my little yeah saber. I was talking about you oh my god it's so cold you're yeah, insane here. You're too long yeah let's go all right Kristen's over it I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying to battle him cold and Kristen's not here for it Right, Kristen? No. <laughs> so. Alright, that's it. Still have stuff I need. Look at my jacket. Oh my gosh. I still have stuff I need to do in the garage. My hands, I can't, can't feel them. So I wanted to come in and thaw them out real quick. It's like the sun's out, but it's the wind is freezing, freezing wind. Oh my gosh, my hands are frozen. Ooh. So I think the plan is we need to, go back to let them sit overnight, right? Yeah. And let this dry all the way. All right, what are we doing here? So Fun people, time. people be having a good time when they're here yeah and the bed frame comes loose <laughs> we got this wood bed frame on amazon so <laughs> yeah there's there's a couple allen wrenches on this usually we we do this we do this every couple we do months. this once a year at once least. a year i thought at, like every at least i'm saying at least once a year we have to tighten the, the screws on the bed and it honestly depends on the guests <laughs> sometimes we do it more often than not oh, listen this one's like all the way undone. Oh my gosh. Sorry, our room's a mess. I just did some laundry. Our bed's made, but I just threw laundry on top of it. Valentine's Day is coming up. Yeah, so we'll probably do it after that. Last Valentine's Day oh my was underwear gate and whoever spent the night was wearing high heels and they, I thought a dog chewed the wood right here, but really I believe it was like a stiletto. You try and block it out. Yeah. They're all pretty loose. You know, maybe it's the contraction and the expansion of the heat, right? In the summer, the wood, no, I'm serious. The wood expands when it's hot. Yeah. And now it's cold and it contracts. That may be it. Also, we need to talk about this because every time we've been out here, our noses, lips, everything just gets so dry because it's very dry out here. So I bought a humidifier for us. And the last two times we've been here, it's been cranking and we feel normal. If you are out here and you have that too, oh my gosh, this thing is awesome. Surprise, <laughs> we got a giant rock meeting room. We didn't even film it. You know, some B-roll of us going up to giant rock meeting room. Yeah, we got- The spicy B-boy. The spicy B-boy? With? With pineapple. And Chris, pineapple. Kristen likes pineapple. This is a controversial thing. Yeah. Let me know in the comments down below if you're team pineapple or not. So, it is very windy outside. It feels like it's 30 degrees. It's probably 40, but with the wind, it feels like it's 30 degrees. There is absolutely no work getting done outside tonight, and that was the plan. So we got the garage cleaned up. Kristen crushed the third bedroom. I think I'm going to let that wood glue dry overnight, just so it's extra secure. I'll drill pilot holes in the morning, and then I will screw those two final moons into their location, fill in the dirt, and that will just be done. And then we gotta clean. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta clean and get out of here. Before the cleaner. We gotta clean and get out of here before noon tomorrow. And 
So tonight, I think we're just gonna chill. The plan was to go in the jacuzzi. That's out. Unless the wind miraculously dies down. Yeah. Which we still could. It's just cold. It's so cold. I know. The fire is going. It's nice. I think we're gonna hang out at the bar. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, we I have it on my phone. We're having a massive windstorm, tell me. Yeah, we're having a really big windstorm right now, like one of the biggest we've seen in a while. Or at all. And uh, we just heard a really loud crash outside. So it was either the hot tub cover or the fence fell down. <sighs> oh, shit. So let's go find out. What the heck just fell outside? I don't want to get hit by any flying things either, so we need to be careful of. We didn't even bring coats, like, because we came from Orange County. So nervous. Oops, sorry. Yeah, it was a hot tub. Shit. Did it fly off? Oh my god, it ripped off, Michael. It's in here. Oh my god. It's so hot. Oh, it got stabbed. Oh my god. <sighs> got stabbed pretty good. Did it rip off our. No, but it wasn't connected on the back. So it had to have ripped out. Looks good right, on this side. side. Yeah. Here, let's see this. Let's see the camera. Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm under it. You stay in the front, okay? Yeah. Uh, the snap didn't break. Okay. It's stuck on the seat. Okay. Go around. I need the flashlight. Well, that's because it's lumped up. <laughs> the top didn't get stabbed. Oh my god, I'm so glad it flew the way it did. How did that happen? No, I'm saying like that it didn't get the top stabbed. Yeah. That was terrifying. Michael is outside putting a clip on our breaker because I guess it flaps in the wind. I don't think we've honestly ever been here when it's been this windy. So it's really good getting to see what it's like and fix anything or tweak anything to be windproof. So we don't have any issues when we have guests here. But oh my God, now my heart is racing and we we're like getting ready for bed and going to bed. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit to go to sleep. How'd it go? Good. I put the nail through it, that's all that would fit. Okay. There's no fire. Did you open it? Did you open it a little bit? Yeah. It usually flares up. Anything? No. A little bit, yeah. There it is, flaring up. There she is. Night's not over. It's actually not too cold up here. You're not hearing anything I'm up not there? Hearing anything up here like that. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking it's the fence. No, but when you're outside, the fence doesn't even make that noise. Seeing the way things are built makes me know how fragile everything is. Oh, You know okay. what I mean? Like, yeah. you think a house is sturdy, and it is. But, but like, take a hammer and bust through some. You know what I mean? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Couldn't find the noise that we're looking for. But I, like, I want to go outside. I feel like the wind is so loud in your ears, you can't tell. It's not, though. It's really not. Let me see if I can hear it standing in this room. Yeah. I mean, I can hear it, but I mean on the phone. Okay, do you hear the rattling? Michael, it's really bad right now. Come listen. Well, I know. I'm going to go outside and watch. It sounds like the fence. Can I see him?
None of the panels are shaking like that. What about the electrical panel? I put a nail through it and it's like tight. Like I shook it. Like it's not jiggling. The only thing I can think is the wire that comes and connects to the house. You think it's on the roof? Would we be able to it hear it? It sounds like it's right here. It sounds like it's in panel. the wall or in the electrical panel. Will you put on your shoes and just come so you, you can see that I'm not crazy? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Which toast is it? Yes. I can hear it. No, I think it's this. Why don't I hold this? Okay, I'll run it. And then I'll take this and look at where the wire goes into the house. Oh. Oh, love. It's the power line. There's nothing we're going to be able to do about it. Go in the, go in the house and see if this stops. Okay, here. <laughs> it's okay. I know. You're like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, you can still hear it. It's not as loud. I think it contributes, but it's still there. It's still happening. Yeah, because um, my hand has been on this. It's a little less. I think that that is part of it, yeah. but it's definitely the power. It's, Dude, um, the stars are insane right now. I know because it's a clear night. good photos. I'm looking to see where, I, I can't see because I'm my beanies, my beanies like really low on my head and I'm like looking, but no, there's big clouds coming. We're not getting any more rain. I'm sad about it. Well, now we've solved a two year mystery. Do you think it's a power line? I do. Cause now that I have seen where the power line is, when you're in the room, you realize, oh, it's not coming from the wall, it's coming from the ceiling. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's the power line. Okay, let's go get comfortable. Great rising, everybody. It is 6.30 a.m. The sun is barely peeking up over the hills over there, and we have work to do. The wind blew like crazy all night. It started pouring at like 11 p.m., so there's like water puddles everywhere. I thought we were over that. It's freezing outside, and I need to finish these moons because we got to leave today. We decided to call our cleaner. She can come clean after us because we had high hopes for saving that money, but uh, we can't do everything all the time. So, gotta pay our cleaner. Let's do this. You guys want to see how cold it is? There's a layer of ice on top of all of the puddles out here. 
there's ice there's ice on the stargazing platform on top of the wood it's like a <laughs> layer of ice on top i don't know if you can see it but yeah it's cold all right let's get to work first screw went in it, it guys it worked i'm really sad I'm really sad we have to get out of here because I wanted to film some like really, really amazing B-roll for social media and stuff, but not gonna happen this time. Okay, so this one is in, this one is in, this one is very secure. And both of the screws went in, I went really slow. The paint I did yesterday while I was attacked by the windstorm that was happening. One of the benefits of growing up in Southern California is you go to Disneyland a lot, and then you also like learn about Disneyland. One of the things that they do when they don't want you to see something, like if you notice their trash can staff doors and everything are painted what they call go away green and it's like a weird shade of green that your eye just kind of like glosses over. And now this isn't exactly go away green. This is like the same concept where we have a dark green your eye. When you're looking at a bush, your brain just kind of like doesn't analyze it because it just thinks it's part of the bush. So it doesn't like latch onto it. That was our goal here. And they look so much better than what they did before. So I think we're good out here for now. Actually, I need to change out. There's a light bulb that keeps going out. So I'm gonna change that out. And I'm gonna get inside and help Kristen. <laughs> okay. We also cleaned up the garage last night. <laughs> We are getting out of here. This was a fun little jaunt, right? Yes, it was nice to get away. Working on the house. It was fun to get to work on the house and yeah. to enjoy this weather up here. I love it up here. Yeah, I think it's raining back everywhere else. <laughs> so <laughs> it's sunny here. Anyway, All right. Let's go. Woo! Don't be scared. We're going to be fine. Everybody's fine. It's time to go, bud. Time to go. Come here. Boy, or are you gonna be a bad boy? You gonna sit? You gonna be a stretchy boy? Yeah. I got the living room light on. Okay. Turn you off. Make sure you guys are off. We are off. All right, buddy. Let's go. Oh, I need a car detail. Yes. <laughs> You're looking at the car detailer. I need a car detail. Bye, house. Love you, house. And love you. Until next time. <laughs>